Today, I'd like to tell you about where you can find free magnets. Specifically, I'm talking about ring magnets. These are very large magnets, and they're very powerful. The sad part of it is, you've probably thrown away about a dozen of these magnets during your lifetime. I know I did before I figured this out. The main thing I use these magnets for is to hold the heat shield on top of my car. Follow the link above to see what a heat shield actually is. The source of these magnets are microwaves. That's right, if you've ever thrown a microwave away, you threw away two magnets. This component right here is called a magnetron. This is the part that creates the magic waves that cook your food. Let's tear one apart and see where the magnets are. The outside case can pretty much be popped open using a screwdriver. Then you want to pry off this metal plate as well as this copper gasket. The reason why this metal plate is so difficult to remove is because the magnet is holding it in place. So you want to break out another very effective tool. It's called brute force. Now that the metal plate is off, you can pull the whole magnetron assembly away from the housing. There's two wires holding it in place. Cut them with wire cutters. Okay, here's your first magnet. And the second magnet's mounted on the assembly you pulled off. They are pretty strong, so don't pinch your fingers in between them. And don't let them slam together because sudden shocks causes magnets to lose their magnetism. Now, let's talk a little bit about gaining access to the magnetron. Here you have your broken microwave that your friends and co-workers have given you. If you know nothing about electricity, I strongly recommend against doing this. There's some high voltages inside of microwave that can seriously injure or kill you, even when it's not plugged in. To prevent the average person from getting into a microwave, they have these security screws. To remove them, you need a special bit, which you can buy for between $10 and $30, all depending on if you shop at Harbor Freight or Sears. Once you get the outside cover off, you'll see this warning label that I told you about, saying that you'll die if you do this. This part right here is a giant capacitor. If there's something wrong with the bleed resistor attached to it, this can store an awful lot of energy and zap you. But if you build your own electronic projects, salvage this part as well. The magnetron you're looking for will usually look like this. It'll be buried and you'll just see the outside case. As we saw at the beginning of the movie, once removed from the microwave, this is what it looks like. While we're in the microwave, let's take a look and see if we can find any more salvageable components. After removing the door, you'll see these two slots right here. Located in those slots are two, and sometimes three, micro-switches. They come in very handy for little projects. And as a quick side note from when I used to repair microwaves, many microwaves that aren't working anymore is because these switches are out of alignment from people slamming the door. You see, it's important for the door to be closed while the microwave's in operation, so they have two to three switches to make sure. Inside the cooking compartment, you want to salvage the turntable motor. Good for projects where you want something to turn around slowly. Here's a good multi-tap transformer. You have a fuse as well as the fuse holder. And finally, here's a switch that can handle 125 volts. Good for projects that involve household currents. Okay, so just remember the next time you're going to throw a microwave away, and you're a tinkerer, think about all the great parts you can get out of it. But best of all, make sure you save those magnets. Well, thanks for watching.